What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Railroads Online. My name is Evil One, and today I'm joined by James. Say hi, James. Hello. And we got Ovon. Hello. And up there on the Ironberg signpost is the one and only Dolan. Say hi, Hello. Dolan. Hello. Awesome. So this is kind of an awesome uh, episode, really, because two of our, our crew members here, Ovon and Dolan, spent a lot of time building us something very special. Let's go take a look at it. And please, Ovon and Dolan, feel free to talk about it. Yeah, sure. We got set up for a proper roundhouse now. And again, shout out to the devs for listening to us. Uh, and by us, I mean the community at large. If, if uh, everybody at home hadn't been constantly asking for a proper roundhouse, I don't think we would have gotten one anytime soon. But uh, it's basically hooked together uh, by shoving modules into each other. And uh, we were able to line things up thanks to the two of us working together. You can't really get this seamless of a finish uh, without two people working together. Uh, we tried to line things up in the sense of the turntable going from one side to the other when and where we could, um, but just due to the nature that that doesn't always 100% work, but it does work more often than it fails. And uh, yeah, it's it's really nice. The doors open should be, they should open automatically when an engine approaches them. Sometimes it bugs out. I'm sure that'll get sorted out more uh, the longer that it's been in the game. And then, uh, yeah, it was just a lot of fun to work on, real easy to put together, and it sits exactly where the old roundhouse was sitting. The back of the shed is exactly where the back of the old shed was, so that should give people a good understanding of where it is physically in the yard for anybody who's been watching. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm super excited for this. This, this is a great addition. It looks fantastic. Thank you both so much. As I said in Discord, I... Uh, and it, please, if you haven't joined our Discord, go check it out. There's a lot that is actually going on there as far as a lot of screenshot sharing, a lot of discussions about all sorts of topics. But anyway, as I said in Discord, I don't deserve you guys, man. You, you guys just <laughs> knock it out of the park every time. Thank you so much. I do really do appreciate it. Dolan, uh, when I first logged in here today, I saw that Beast was up on the rack over at the maintenance facility. Let's go over there and take a look at it. Dolan, please uh, tell us why Beast is on the rack here in the maintenance shed. Well, we brought in Beast because there was a big task that I had to tackle, and Beast was the last engine to receive these updates. We have knuckle couplers on every single piece of rolling stock now. It was simple as just taking the knuckle, putting it into the pin socket, and putting the pin in. Nice. Beast was the final one to go through, and we did end up getting Beast refueled. It took forever, but we got it done. Yep, refueled. But why is it actually in on the rack? I mean, you can do all these uh, knuckle couplers pretty easily. Is it because it's just getting an, uh, an inspection? We've been running it a lot here lately, or...? Yeah, like, we've what? been running Beast a lot since we had Beast back in service. And I just wanted to make sure everything was okay before we make our next trip. Okay, so it's not actually broken down or anything like that. It's just here. No. Okay, perfect. So our next plan is we really need to start hauling some pipes up to Alaska and to the oil field and we don't have the rolling stock to do it and looking at my funds here I only have uh, $2,494 that's not a lot what I ask these guys to do is invest a little bit of their own money back into our railroad, buy some of these cars for us so we can actually get some goods delivered up to Alaska. And I promise, guys, I'll pay you back. Uh, I just need a, a quick loan from you guys, if you don't mind. We'll start buying that yep. that rolling stock. We also got uh, uh, Shove here refueled because it was completely out of coal and almost cold. So it's like Ovon is already whipping them out. There we go. Yep. I've bought as much as uh, my pockets can go deep. All right. Was that six of them? Yep. Yep. All right. Thank you. Yep. We'll get a bunch more here. So while they're doing that, let's talk about what we need to do to take up to Alaska. The dredge, they've contracted us to bring them uh, as many tools we can get our hands on. Same for pipes, and of course, they're running through coal like it's water. And of the stamping mill, they need uh, some cordwood, but not a lot because we just brought them a full train load. And of course, coal as well. The smelter up there, they contracted with us. They just need coal. They just, that's all they need is coal. 
That's all they want, but that's what we're going to do. We also need to bring them a bunch of food, and unfortunately we don't have much in the way of food to bring them. So we need to run some trains, probably starting at their wheat farm, bring everything up to the wheat farm, get the wheat and the straw to the cattle farm, take the cattle to the Emmett Hill to be processed, and then we'll bring the canned beef back here. The other thing we need to do, there's never a shortage of things to do here at the AD&D. We really need to finish the oil uh, refinery over there and start producing some, some oil uh, to bolster our, our wallets. That's interesting. So, and I don't believe we actually have the tanker cars, do we? No, I don't think we have any tanker cars yet. No, we have no tankers. Okay. Oh, I will buy the tanker cars. How about that? Sounds good. Uh, so you have you have two options. You have your coffin tank and your tanker. Um, the coffin tank definitely holds more, but they're does it? They they're harder to load. And I really recommend you go with the standard tanker. <laughs> why? Well, the why do you say that? The standard tanker holds twelve, and the coffin tank only holds ten. Oh, then they've changed that. But the coffin tank is harder to, to load than the standard tank. Uh, with the with the way that you actually load the oil into the tanker, you can line up and fill two tanks at once. With the coffin tank, you can't do that. You can only fill one at a time. And they hold the oh, same, or? What, what was that again? The, the, co the coffin tank holds slightly less, apparently. Oh. So just use the regular tank anyway. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, so I, I was going to ask. It's like, didn't you guys have tankers? And then I realized if they were owned by uh, Pine Valley, well, then, weren't they? Probably. Uh, no, I don't think we had tankers in Pine Valley. We had just connected to the coal mine before they kicked us yep. out. Yep. Right, right, right. I don't think I'm going to have enough to buy two of these tankers. So Probably was, buy one. What was that again? Let's see. Well, as long as everybody's in your company, that yeah. shouldn't be a All problem right. soon enough. If we're yeah, going to run 1450, enough. 1450, I only have uh, 1044 now. We have the shove here going to be pushing these cars together. And we need to run pipes. Uh, we, let's do... Can someone take the brakes off? We need to bring pipes to Alaska, too. And we, we got a bunch of pipes over there at the uh, ironworks. So why don't we fill this train up and, and take them up to the oil field? And then we'll fill it up again and just park it on one of the outgoing sightings over here to head to Alaska. Ooh. Does that work? And Sounds I, good to me. I will grab push and configure up a train to go to the wheat farm. Oh, uh, okay. If you're having an issue with knuckles, sometimes you have to, I think it's right click the knuckle to open it manually. And then when you back in, it'll grab them. All right, bring it back. Uh, it kind of simulates how it, sometimes you see the real railroad where they've got to like shake the release a few times to get the knuckler to actually grab. No, oh my sense. god, that is so tedious. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not intentional simulation, I can tell you that. It's, it is a glitch, but I, I see it as a simulation. Well, I did see another, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it a glitch, even though this is planned. It's with these switches. It used to be you can just left click and drag the, the flag on the harp here and now you have to right click in order to get it to to move and left click to go that way and so that is incredibly annoying to me i really wish it was just a click and drag but i have to remember which way to click
See, I'm thinking that that box car should go with the water cars. Yeah, box car should go with the water cars. That way, it goes up to the wheat farm. That'll work. You getting one of the engines I'm set up, Dolan? Yep. Okay, I'll put the uh, Ruby away on us. I think I think they're actually in. Uh, they've got push in the way right now. Hang on, I'm I'm getting ready to move it. I messed that up. But that's all right. It's not gonna be here too long. <laughs> oh, did uh, not like what? me popping that coupler. Oh dear. The whole box car just kind of jumped off the track. That's weird. Uh, that's not good. No. Oh. See if I can pull it back on. Come on, enter the locomotive. Thank you. Yeah, it popped back on, but it coupled back up, too. Yeah. Come on. There we go. I got tired of waiting on you. Screw you guys, I'll do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Oh, he. He's the boss. This is true. <laughs> These can hold five at a time, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, they hold uh nine, nine. Yeah, they hold right. nine. So, which means it loads it in three crane loads. Yeah. So we can actually, if it generates more pipes, we can actually haul a whole huge train. Could be over 108 pipes. Save some for Alaska. Yeah, if you guys are going anywhere near the yard again, just drop some of those off for the for the Alaska trip. Oh yeah. Well, how many? I'll probably, are... I'll probably like cut the train in half. Well, I would probably say cut four off and then take. No, probably, probably cut half the train in half. No, but right, move over, move forward. Two cars. Yeah, we'll cut the train in half. We'll leave half for Alaska, and then we'll leave half for here. About how many sightings would you like over All here? Right. Abel? Like there, it's good. Uh, probably three or four. Okay. Just okay. enough for the, uh, you know, break up a train. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Might want to back up just a little tiny bit. All right. What should I do? Hey, evil one. Yeah. Okay, I was just I was just making sure because I saw you rolling in with push. I was just making sure that you um, slow down in time so you didn't slam into the back of our train. Oh, that's fine. I'm gonna put oh, this this train. I'm gonna take this train up to the uh, the wheat farm. All right. But uh, I need to switch out locomotives. I'm gonna put it in the lane over there. I don't think we're going to be able to fill the full train. I don't think. Um, because nine times five is forty-five. Yeah, nine well, times six is fifty-two. Fifty-four. Fifty. That's uh, fifty-four. I think. Twelve times nine is. Okay, Twelve well, cars I, times nine is a hundred and eight. I'd rather take a full car up to Alaska. And can you guys maybe tell tell me what we need at the ironworks to make more? It'll be iron ore and coal. It's gonna be, uh, be well. Coal. No, it's gonna be coal, raw iron. Yep. And and beams. beams. Okay. No lumber. Lumber. A flat one. Is lumber. lumber. Yeah. Raw iron. Well, I thought. And coal. I thought. I thought there was a lot of lumber there. There was a lot of lumber. There. We only yeah. got two raw iron. 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 Uh -huh. Uh, and 61, 61 coal. coal. So, so we need so raw we need to iron. make a trip to the smelter. Yeah. yeah. If you guys mm -hmm. can make a trip to the smelter too, that'd be great. Yeah. I'm going to figure out what engine I need. I think I'm going to take risk for this water train. in this game that don't right. work. Good. Right, that's good. <laughs> Break off reverse or back. They must have shortened the length of the slow it down just a little bit of the bell. Oh, like how long it rings for after you turn it on? Yeah. Yeah, they did. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold, hold, hold up there, Dolan. I'm coming to a stop. People yeah, are complaining about it for a uh, long time. Wrist is coming through.
Alright guys, go ahead and pass. Alright. Come on back, old. So what we need to do is we need to uh, put this in siding. The second siding here, I think. Siding C. Siding B. B? Yeah, you guys. Should we B? Labeled all the sidings. That's that's pretty awesome. Yeah, siding B is what we're yeah, putting. Siding B. Yeah, these. it's in. Yeah, going back. If you want us to do, yeah. if you want us to do deep storage, I can do that at some point. <laughs> deep storage hasn't been done yet. Sure. I mean, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> It's up to you. I, you guys are the ones it, doing that. Uh, you know, you should just come see my railroad at some point. Is that three cattle cars and a refrigerated box car? Yeah, that's why I was. Yeah, I was. Unhook. I was trying to make a train. I there decided that I'm going to do a water train first, so I missed my siding. I screwed up. So. No worries. All right, so I just got the train loaded up with water. The pipe train with Dolan and James is heading up to the oil field. It looks like they got some tools on that box car uh, right before the caboose there too, so good luck guys. Uh, I'm going to close up these hatches and I'm going to head, take this train up to the uh, wheat farm. If I can close this hatch, there we go. And okay. to deliver it, I'll bring this train back and bring another load of water to the cattle farm. And lot, we'll lot, see lot, where lot. we're at then. Yeah, hauling water today. So. Them cows need it. Cows need it, yep. And I did get some seed pellets in this boxcar too, so we can get on the rail and get out of All here. Right. Uh, we'll line you up for the time. For, for the. For the. Why can I not talk today? God darn it! Rabber razzards! Get them get lined for the main line? Get him lining up to go to the wheat farm. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, well, I was busy lining me and uh, Dolan up to go to the um, oil fields, but well, the oil you're probably know, pulling out before us. So. We're go if we're going to the oil fields first, we have to get the same way Evil's going. No, you can go that uh, way. No. no. There's, there's two, two ways to get yeah, to the oil there's, field. There's two ways. There's the, the, the new way. But that's yeah. the long way around. No, it's not. <laughs> 
You're no, going. The, you're no, going the short the, way. No, no. It's the steep well, way. Maybe, it's the steep way, but it's the short way. Trust me. Just trust okay. me. Okay. After trust after me. the turn for the. Just trust me. <laughs> a, after the turn <laughs> for the uh, 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 sawmill, you'll see a turn yeah. off to the to the right. Take that turn. Oh, I'm, oh that I'm, was. I'm about to push you if you don't hurry up. <laughs> Got things to do. To move I it. Kick out of the UI. <laughs> uh, Psyduck. Thank you, James. Not a problem. Now I need to uh, somehow. <laughs> Let for me, senor. You were leaving me behind! Just use one of the telegraph offices. <laughs> we'll make it there. James suddenly turned Hispanic. That was kind of weird. <laughs> In a matter of like five Alright, we're arriving here at the wheat farm. Just gotta offload all uh, this train. I'll head back down to. Oops, that's the wrong one. Ah, uh, stop! Grab the wrong lever. Well, let's unload the water first. <laughs> get this train offloaded and we'll head back to Ironburg, fill up again, take it to the cattle farm. Hold on. Come on, we must stop. All I hear is keyboards clicking and oh. mouses clicking and like <laughs> I, I hear panic going I, on. <laughs> I, I managed to stop the um, loading for the one uh, one car. I'll, since we're at the first car now, I'll just pull forward this time. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh. Freaking UI bugs. It's gotta, gotta stop. Alright, it's last of the water. Let's get the pallets of seed unloaded. These guys here at the wheat farm, they can start planting more wheat. I'll just be able to roll down the hill and just take the break off. Pull forward just a little bit. Right, there we go. All right. We got 14 seed pellets. How much of water do we have left? 20. And on this side, we have 11 bales, so it's still producing here for us. Just going a little slow. We have 11 grain. All 
All right, let's get back to Ironburg. We'll load up again and go to the cattle farm. To see evil one barreling it down the main line. Heck one yeah! Of these, <laughs> one of these days, I'm gonna get out my little wooden whistle and and toot right. back at you from my microphone. <laughs> I've got oh, my whistle, awesome. my wooden, uh, right. wooden whistle from Day Out with Thomas somewhere. just got this train filled up with water. I'm going to take it now to the cattle car, or the cattle car. Jeez, <laughs> Chris, it is getting late. I'm going to take this to the cattle farm and offload this water and I'll come back. So, all right, here we go. Reverse of forward, break off. Break off. Regulator, all of it. Up to um, the cattle farm. Oh, it should be good. Okay. Now I'm good. All right. Toot toot. Let's get out of here.
Oh, we're all here. Yeah. yeah. I was done a while ago. <laughs> there. Yep. Let me okay. Guess we got Head. Go ahead and pull up. Stop anytime. All right, you're clear out. All right, so we have 16 grain left. It's counting down, I'm sure. 22 water, yep, 22 water, and 10 straw bales. Let's come over here and take a look at our cattle output. Let's see, over here on this shoot, we have 10, and on this one, we have nothing. All right, well, we're on our way. Let's fly over to the oil refinery really, really quick and take a look at what Ovon built for us. Wow. Oh, very cool. We are planning on getting a little switching engine in here. It'll be used to pull apart cars and that sort of thing or trains to, to offload. And Dolan and James actually brought a train here already, so we, we've got some steel pipes here. That is great. We still need to get some lumber and the crude oil, of course. So, and you guys did deliver a load of pipes up to the oil field, right? Yep. Correct. Perfect. I'm gonna go fly up here a little bit. Well. Take a look at this loop. All right, look at that loop. Nice reversing loop. Very awesome. Thank you so much, Ovon. Yeah, and it's a it it's like a, a 50 leak. meter turn, okay. so you should like if you come in a little hot, you're not going to derail. What am I seeing? The black box. Is that what you're seeing? Yeah, yeah a floating black too. box. So, so that black box is supposed to be invisible. It's a place marker so that the game knows where John Railroadson is. So that that box is attached to somebody. Interesting. <laughs> well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Hit that thumbs up button too if you enjoyed this content. Leave a comment down below. I do respond, or I do read and respond to every single comment. Uh, that's my goal anyway for now. Uh, do you guys have anything you'd like to, to say before we get out of here other than the fact that Dolan is on fire up there. <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> uh, I'm just glad Osha isn't around. Yeah, me too. All right. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.